Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine. Expecting you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. Donald Trump, before I get into Donald Trump, I, I've noticed this, that in, in, in the churches that we go to as Christians, you know, and the Bible tells us actually to um, turn the other cheek, meaning for the people who are, are not Bible readers, it means it's just if you get hit with something or if you something gets done to you, you know, try to avoid it, try to, you know, have patience. I get it. But until when? Because they, they think of Christians as literal weaklings. When are we as Christians, are we allowed to fight back? Never. Are we just there to just Literally just get taking a beating constantly, take it on the chin, take it on the chin, take it on the chin. Never say nothing, never do nothing because, I don't know, it seems like we are, um, are, are we afraid as Christians? And Donald Trump was um, uh, in this, uh, his first town hall, Fox town hall, and they asked him, you know, I, I know they were referring to him, but they made a try to, you know, the, that person in the audience who asked it made, it made a, 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 almost a political, politically correct question. It's like, in in the era of insult politics, do is it possible that we are able to you know cross the bridge on the other line and not have to resort to insult politics? And Donald Trump's answer him in Donald Trump fashion, and I think it's true for us even. Stop taking it on the chin constantly, because if not, these evil people will think that you are a weakling. Trump. This is from. Christian headlines, Trump, can you can't turn your cheek when attack as president or you'll lose. I mean, let's go. President Trump suggested Thursday that if he turned the other cheek in the political world, he would not be in office. Trump participated in a Fox News town hall and addressed several issues, including the coronavirus, the economy and foreign policy. But two questions from the audience related to the political divide and his inclination to hit back on Twitter and the media. And when attack sparked an insightful response, insult politics, a man in the audience told Trump has uh, have become a staple of this political environment. Right. Political environment, meaning him. Right. Uh, amongst others, because Democrats do the same thing, too. Could there be a way that we can deliver your message without the controversial rhetoric and with efforts to reunite this country during this divisive time? The man asked. Trump answered by saying the country is far more united than people think and that economic success is the way that we unite people from opposing viewpoints. But hitting back, he said, is necessary part of this strategy. When they hit us, we have to hit back, Trump said. I feel that. I mean, there's two ways of doing it. Turning the cheek, like we Christians are supposed to do, but to a certain point. But I wouldn't be sitting here if I turn my cheek, especially dealing with evil human beings that don't, they don't care about you. They don't care. They want, they literally want to destroy you. Until when are we as Christians going to just keep turning the other cheek and they're coming for everything while we turn the other cheek and we're at our pew sitting down and glory to God. And we are just being overrun out of a country that was established, whether you like it or not, under biblical principles. And they're coming for everything. They're coming for everything. We get hit so hard, he had it, and we have a media that is, to a large extent, is a part of the Democratic Party. It really is. It's terrible. It's, it's unfair. It's called fake news. I call it fake news. We have to fight back. If we don't fight back, we won't be a fan. You won't be a fan of mine very long, but I appreciate the question. That, that mean, to me, that makes perfect sense. When are we going to... St- I mean, the question... I mean, you read the Bible, right? You read the Old Testament, right? And it goes from war to to being warriors to defending and i don't to be honest you know I, I really don't see that that spirit in in modern church today i really don't i see other type of spirit i see a very weak spirit i see a a spirit that is scared to speak up about what you believe but yet this other real small minority are are waking up or not waking up, they are wake up and they're very loud. They're very vocal and they do what they have to do. Meanwhile, you are just sitting 
on a pew and church guys what do you think about this topic remember that this channel is absolutely nothing without you guys give me a comment give me a like let me know what you guys want to see on this channel go to facebook give a like to the valentine show i'm also there god bless god speed me valentine i'm out